Welcome to the first in a short set of presentations from 1M2M. Through these presentations, we will be learning how developers can quickly build IoT systems based on open standards and then reuse those skills for other applications. My name is Ken Figueredo and I work with 1M2M's MarComs committee to promote 1M2M and the benefits of open standard and interoperable IoT systems. In the coming videos, I will be joined by Andreas Kraft. Here he is to introduce himself and tell us a little bit more about his talks. Hello, Ken, and thank you for the introduction. I've been working in 1M2M standardization for almost eight years now. I've also been building a set of tools that put 1M2M standards into use. I am based in Berlin and come from the telco industry where I work as an enterprise architect. In the coming videos, I'm going to share eight talks to help developers make a quick start with 1M2M. But before we get going, I need to provide some context and definitions. To begin with, I will talk about 1M2M and introduce some basic concepts. Then I will introduce you to Jupyter Notebooks, which developers commonly use before I go on to illustrate some of 1M2M's basic functionalities. After that, I will show you a Hello World exercise and then continue with highlighting certain aspects of 1M2M. At the end of this series, you should have a basic understanding of 1M2M to start your own developments. That's wonderful. Um, thanks, Andreas. So uh, let's get going with a definition of an IoT system that we will use in the remainder of this series. Everywhere we go, we are surrounded by communication networks at home, in the factory, and when we are out and about. So let's begin with these. At the bottom left, we have a device or sensor that produces data. To the top right, there's an application that consumes the data. In between, there's an IoT platform which contains a set of software tools to manage the devices, the data, and access to them. Thanks for that introduction, Andreas. Um, this is quite a basic diagram, um, and I suppose that real systems will use multiple connected devices or sensors. Yes, that's right. But it helps to start with a basic system and show how to add to it over time. Okay, then. So how does this system map to the 1M2M framework? Now, this illustration is a variation of the basic arrangement. You can see that the IoT platform is now labeled as a 1M2M CSE. CSE stands for Common Services Entity. What that means is that the CSE contains a family of common services. Some examples are device management, event notification, and security. Yes, uh, I, I see that. These look like common services that appear in all IoT systems. How does this arrangement help our developer? IoT is not only about transmitting data from sensor devices to a cloud platform. An IoT application needs to take care of data structures, data encoding, communication, identity management and security, device management, and much, much more. 1M2M defines the functionalities of these common services and makes them accessible in a unified way using simple RESTful operations. For the tutorials, I will use the open source ACMIS CSE, which is like an IoT platform based on the 1M2M standard. The CSE hosts all the necessary platform services that enable an IoT system. Okay, that makes sense. Um, where do we go from here? In the next short talk, I will take you through a set of setup steps to use Jupyter Notebook and access the ECMA CSE. After that, we will get into a Hello World tutorial. Okay, thank you, Andreas. It's look like, it looks like you will take us through some of the key 1M2M capabilities in later talks. I'm glad you've put some thought into making this easy for developers, and I look forward to talking to you on our next module. <laughs>